What is up guys, I'm Matt and Neil from Skullbusters today and we're talking about Days Gone and the future DLC that's coming to us in June and the update that's been released today with the 109, uh, 1.09 sorry, which was 12 gig, which is a massive yeah, big, update. Big, big update, considering it was just for bugs as well, so yeah, that's why I was thinking it's, um, are they starting something with the DLC in the background? But not mentioning anything. Uh, they released some patch notes um, suggesting it could be to do with the DLC. Um, it's more likely for the size of. If you, if you consider all the updates that they've been dropping, it's like megabytes, where this one is like a bigger. It's like 12 gig. Yeah. So, so, so the past three updates or four updates, it's been like 150 meg, a bit more than that, 200. This was a 12 gig. So everyone's assuming this is going to help set up the days gone dlc that's coming to us in june this is the rumors yeah, that's all been talking about within uh today yeah i think they're slowly secretly introducing it you know in the background yeah and then they'll say when they're ready to release it to the public i bet they're in like testing phase now yeah and then that's they'll, probably they'll it. release it as and when hopefully it'll be soon so they'll probably do another um, small update to fix this one, as usual, like that other games do. They always bring up big one and then a little one to fix it up. Uh, but the follow one, probably after this update or the one next to uh, next to the update. So in two updates, we could possibly get in the DLC, which will be mid June or end of June. Let's hope. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it'll come soon because. Um... It'll keep people interested in the game. Um, so there was a. It's been reported that a guy has um, been playing the game after this update, and he was in cutscenes. So and then it glitched out for him, and it threw him into like um, a freaker's nest in a t in a town uh, that's not known or unseen so we're thinking that we're going to get a hidden city a new city that we've not seen before um and we could get more items in terms of like new bikes different types of bikes maybe being introduced um stuff like that be good to see yes um, so what do you think that this hidden sitter, it looks like the uh, start, if you've been playing the game uh, and you've been looking for Sarah, you've been having these flashbacks to the start of the whole apocalypse where she got stabbed, I think she got stabbed uh, by an infected uh, newt and uh, it looks like the buildings are very similar to the one from the cutscenes of him and Sarah at the beginning of the whole apocalyptic uh, world. Yeah, where they get on the chopper, is it? Yeah, so that's so my like theory. Then... Yeah, that's my theory. So it might be... It uh, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, so they might be like, ooh. Because it ties in with the story then. Yeah, so it's ever like putting a random city in there. They've gone to the like previous one and uh, they're going to just like probably fix that one up. So you probably find that they've already, already yeah. had it in place and it's just a matter of implementing it. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah, like you say, it does make sense that. We also think it could be like a, a normal survival mode. Um, possibly. No, they said that they're gonna, gonna bring in a new level, aren't they? So, obviously, like, yeah, like a game mode, you can, you can, yeah, so like hardcore or you know, like, yeah, like survival. Yeah, they did it with um, Last of Us, they kept bringing like hard difficulty, um, for the game, you know, the campaign. Um, there was that, so they're probably bringing different items like new weapons, um, like I say, a bike. We could maybe could we see a car of some kind or a um, truck? No, do you reckon? I'm do not I too sure. like, um, the truck, the truck might be. You've not got up to that bit. That's uh, what I mean. In, do you like it's got like an arrowhead on the front, so it just plows. Imagine plowing one of them through like that fucking horde. <laughs> yeah, I've been brilliant. Yeah, you you're not going up to that bit. There's a truck in the game, um, so that could be. Man. I'm not spoiling. I'm just saying it's a truck. It's a big spoiler. I know. 
I don't know. Well, that's we're speculating what we could yeah, get so or I'll see. I'll say more of a truck than a car. A car's like mm, a bit weak. Well, I'm it? thinking more like a jeep or a buggy type of thing. Oh, you you could, oh yeah, uh, do it yeah. Up. Put spikes all over it. That'd yeah. Be ace. But I'd, yeah. a couple of things I'd like to see. I don't know about you, but I'd like uh, maybe like a multiplayer. Um, not like a, a massive open world multiplayer because I don't think they'd be able to cope with that. I'd want something small. So like, I'm thinking more like of a, a survival mode. So in other words, say take a section of of the the map that we've got now. Let's say for example, a small section, and then you say you're in a four man squad, or even a two man squad, and you've got to survive. Say like five minutes, three minutes, whatever. Of and then you're just getting floods and floods of zombies coming at you that i think that'd be fucking brilliant if you've done that yeah i i hope so anyway uh, have you know really have good. you noticed you could train the um oh, for the hordes you could run around the hordes if you have enough stamina yeah i didn't max out. i've not maxed out my stamina i just <laughs> maxed out my health it's, it's basically <laughs> you just run out you can run um away from All the day. horde oh, yeah pretty much uh that's if they're not on the full pace. If they're on the full pace, it's game over. I think they're gonna. I think they'll keep on top of this game and adding like new stuff. If, um, if they do bring you this survival mode, you've got a rager bear, aren't you? You've got the reachers. You've got the breakers. You've got hordes, and you've just got the normal um, yeah. some uh, freakers. So you got the little newts. So they could do like mix and match, if or they, they could do yeah. certain amount of like. Rages or breakers in that one little round survival coming yeah. after you. Well, it, well, even if you did, like I say, you, you don't have to do survival, you can do the survival and then you could do pit like 4v4 yeah. uh, players against one another. They did it with Last of Us, so it's a similar type of game and similar type of setting. Yeah. So, and they kind of done the same thing with that. Their maps were pretty big, their multiplayer maps, but I reckon they should keep these small, small little maps. And then it won't be as hopefully won't be as glitchy, buggy. Um, I think that will keep people interested in the game if they did that. I mean, I know yeah. they've not got multiplayer at the minute, but I think if they did, I think it would be a really good game well, to add on. I think the best thing for them to do is uh, add a small multiplayer and then make yeah, it bigger I mean. and bigger and bigger. Don't no, don't, I, I, don't just, release no, something I, too big and. It'll crash yeah, the whole you, server. Well, no, because you, you can't fill server. You won't. I don't think they'd fill servers. Mm, where if yeah. you keep small, so like for a squad of four, say four v four, or yeah. like I said, for survival, then you're gonna keep small games. So you're gonna fill the games up, aren't you? You're not gonna have empty slots. Yeah. Which you see in most most games at the minute now. Anyway, with matchmaking, um, there's loads of things that we could do with with this game. Um, but it's where which route they go down with it. Yeah, so. so we've got to wait for the more information to be released. So, stay tuned for everything. Uh, Dave's gone at the school busters because uh, we're all over this game doing uh, trophy guides. I am. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, you are. Uh, all yeah. over it. Uh, what, what have I done? I've got guides coming. I've got killing hordes coming. A load of horde videos coming. Um, I've just done two collectibles. Go oh, go check them out. And uh, the walkthrough series, uh, yeah, it's not doing too bad. But you know, <laughs> can check that out if you really wanted to. But yeah, everything's going good. Uh, I'm enjoying the game. Are you enjoying the game, Neil? Yeah, I think it's a good game. Like I oh, say, I do think it's a good uh, game. I similar think the, to Last of Us. I think the critics were too hard. Yeah, I think so. I, I think they rated it bad yeah well, I, personally i don't think it is but it is buggy yeah, and I've, I've only I've, well i've not even had a bug yet i've had some frame rates dropping <laughs> I've, that's, had a that's horrendous. I've had a bouncing motorbike and that's about it <laughs> <laughs> i've had a, a zombie fly away i no. killed the guy with a bat and then it just it, it, it flew I belted him over the head, and he flew halfway <laughs> down the road. I'm like, where the fuck is he going? I, I crashed into Knocked something. I, I crashed into something, and I flipped my bike, and my bike became a bouncy ball, and kept bouncing up and down. <laughs> yeah, so well, they, 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 
I think we all know the game's a bit buggy, but yeah, it, it's good. It's worth sticking with. I think. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you all soon. Adios. See you later, guys.